Hey there, what's going on everyone? This is Sue again. I hope you guys are doing well. Wanted to give you another success tip. And today's success tip is how to get yourself started, you know? How do you get yourself moving in the direction of your goals and your dreams or maybe just accomplishing a simple task or activity? This video is actually inspired by a commercial that I saw recently. It's a commercial for arthritis or something for older folks. And you know, it starts off by the narrator telling us a quote. And the quote goes like this. It says, a body in motion tends to stay in motion. A body at rest tends to stay at rest. You know, and that's a very powerful concept if you think about it, right? And if you apply this in your life, you can get yourself moving in the direction you want. Because when you start taking action, when you start having movement, you just keep going, you know? So I'm going to share with you two simple strategies to help you get started. You know, I think that's one of the hardest things for people to do. You know, whether they have a dream or a goal, or if they want to start a business or they want to start a diet program or exercise program, the hardest part for most people is to just get started. So these two strategies will get you, you know, started and getting you be to be more productive and everything too. Okay, so the first strategy, and this helps me, so I'm going to share with you. The first strategy is to set an intention for your day. You know, set an intention to be productive. So before you start your day, just tell yourself, today I set the intention to be productive. I want my day to be a productive day today. That's it. You don't have to elaborate. You don't have to tell yourself what to do or what not to do because most people will know what's productive and what's not productive. You know when you're lazy. You know when you're being lazy and you know when you're actually moving. So you know, just set the intention to be productive. And uh, the strategy number two is, you know, to tell yourself that you're just going to take a simple action today. Just tell yourself, okay, I'm just going to take a small action today. I'm just going to do one simple thing, right? You know, you might have a big goal or a big activity, but when you're immobilized and you can't do it, you can't get started, just tell yourself, okay, you know what? I know I got to do this. Let me just do this small task just so that I could be productive, so that I could keep my word. Let me just start by just doing the simple thing, right? Not the whole thing. I'm just going to do a little bit only today. I'm just going to do a little bit. You see, there's a, a trick there, right? You see, a lot of times when you're going through your day and you're, you're stuck in your old habits again, right? You're like, okay, you're stuck in the immobilized zone and you're like, don't want to do anything and you're just... You know, you're stuck doing whatever you're doing already and you don't want to change directions to do the productive stuff. So the first strategy, usually that works the first time. So if you're at, you know, you're on the couch watching TV and you, you, you realize, hey, you know, I'm not being productive and I told myself I'm going to be productive. Just by that thought alone can move you to take action towards things that are more productive, the things that you want to do that day. So... If, if the first strategy doesn't work for you, if it doesn't get you off your butt and doing the productive thing, then the second strategy is where it will help you. So when you don't move, just tell yourself, okay, you know what? I got to do this, you know? I'm just going to go. Just even if you got to drag yourself, just say, you know what? Let me go in and just do this simple thing, you know? Just... I don't want to do the whole thing, but let me just start it off by just doing a little bit of it today. I'm just going to do a little bit, you know, just to tell my, just to, you know, keep my word and be productive. Because if I do this little thing, I'm being a little bit productive, right? And then you get up and then you go and do it. And then you're like, okay, I'm just going to do this, right? See, what happens right there is when you get yourself to move, you're tricking your mind by telling yourself that you're just going to do a little bit. You trick your mind to take action. And that's the thing is, like this says, you know, a body in motion will tend to stay in motion. So when you get yourself off of your butt, even just to do the little thing, you're moving. You know, you're, you're in action. And when you're in action, when you are in action, you will start to be in it, right? You will start getting into the activity and now you start doing it. So I've got an example here. This is a good example because this happened to me last week or this week, actually. Um, 
I really wanted to uh, do my email follow-ups, right? Because my email follow-ups, you know, I've been do using the same ones for for some time now, right? And it's starting to get stale. It's starting to kind of lose the effectiveness. And I've wanted to for the longest time now to just customize it and make it sound like me, you know, because I've been using the auto the um, follow up emails of my mentors and the system, right? And I customized it initially just a little bit, but you know, starting to kind of get stale. And I was like, you know what? I need a I need to customize it to make it sound like my voice. And it was a lot. It was a big task because you know I had like 30, 30 days worth of emails going out, and I was like, man, that's a lot of work. I, I already I was trying to get it going, but I was like, man, that's already overwhelming. Just thinking about it, just so much to do, right? Well, to keep for my keep with my intention to be productive, I I told myself, you know what? I know I got 30 days of emails that I need to customize and redo. Let me just start with the first day. And even on the first day, right, I'm like, oh, man, I can't even think of what I'm going to write and stuff. I was just like, what am I supposed to do? So I looked at someone else's, another marketer's email who customized it. He's also in our system. I was like, you know, what? maybe I could just follow up, follow with his and just maybe copy most of his stuff. Right. And just try to customize it. I try to customize it. I end up like going through it like, man. You know, I end up trying to do like just copying his word, word for word. And then I realize, you know what, what is my outcome? What is my goal for this whole situation? Right. What is my intention for these emails? And then I realize, you know what, my outcome, my goal is to make it sound like me, make it make it sound like it's coming from me, you know. So by copying people, by by using this, I know that it's effective for him. Right. So I'm like. You know what? It's good for him, but I want it to sound more like me. I want it to be my voice. So I ended up just starting it. You know, I was like, you know, I just start typing. And, you know, sure enough, I got going and, and I was getting into the motion. I start getting into it. And, and before I knew it, I had the welcome email, the first email, second email, third email, the fourth email. And I had the whole week already written out to go out, you know. And I was like, wow, this this concept actually really works, you know, by just letting yourself take the small action just to trick yourself to get moving. Then you once you're in it, you start going with it because you start building momentum. So that's the that's really, you know, the strategy. I'll, I'll end it there. You know, I don't want to take this too long, but you guys get the idea, right? You know, just set the intention in the morning that you're going to make your day productive, make it a productive day. And then also. When you're at the moment, just tell yourself, trick your mind, trick yourself to take the small action to do a little bit of it. You know, once you trick yourself to get up and do it and take action, then you're in the game. Now you can start and build on that momentum and start doing it. Okay. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions or any comments for me, leave it in the comment section below. If you like this video, make sure to like it, you know, hit the like button and share it with your buddies and friends on Facebook. And if you want to check out the system that I use to generate income online, click the link below and see for yourself. Check it out, you know, be your own judge. And if it makes sense for you, give yourself the opportunity to take action and decide to join my team. Be a part of our mastermind group. You know, we have systems and tools to help you succeed as well online. So click it, check it out for you. If it makes sense, join, be a part of our team. All right, guys, until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace.